So the one we'll try now is the Annapolis Spring Invitational Tournament. So that's fairly close, 27.73 miles. It's Annapolis. It's, you know, going to close tomorrow so we can register for this. Um, also, it lists the different sections, and the ones we're looking for are going to be the um, NTRP sections, which are um, listed here. I'm highlighting now. So we click into this tournament. Um, it'll bring you to the uh, home screen for the tournament, and this is where um, you get most of the general information. Um, you'll be uh, given the name of the organization running it, which is the Amarano County Tennis Association, the director, which is important, uh, his or her contact information, and their email. So I've already emailed um, Mrs. Sternberg, uh, Sherry to Sternberg, um, asked her about you know, how the tournament works, uh, the distance to the uh, courts, uh, when she expects to have the draws, um, because it's 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 kind of a long tournament. As you read down here, you know, um, you know, most people play during the weekdays and or at any time during the weekend. So this is kind of important for your scheduling purposes. If you're registering for something um, that's going to close fairly soon and the tournament dates are going to be here at the top. Sorry about that. So it's tournament dates 14th to 21st, so it's going to be a week-long tournament. Um, and they're planning to span it over two weekends. You want to know that you know, you're know, you able to make those um, matches because um, if you pay for something and then you can't make the, the matches, you'll have to forfeit and it's kind of a waste of money. So um, yeah, definitely check with the tournament director. Uh, make sure you can make the dates. And also uh, one other thing important to check is your uh, prices. So um, a lot of the... Um, Prices will vary from tournament to tournament, depending on the director's um, discretion. Uh, this one is charging $32 for singles, for singles, and then you play, pay $19 more for each additional one. And then you can also combine it with $22 for your first doubles, and you can play additional doubles. Uh, also in the notes, you'll see players might play enter in up to three events only. So um, you could play men's doubles, men's singles, and then mixed doubles, for example. Um, and then you could play like, you know, uh, another three would be like, you could play 4.0, uh, men's open, and also uh, men's double strip. So many different combinations. Um, uh, what, what you'll see in the uh, middle here are tabs, and as the tournament begins, you'll see additional tabs. Um, I believe one's like draws, one's results, and then another is like um, actual players. So when we click on the Applicants tab, you'll see a list of all the players that have entered in the various categories and everything. One good tip here is to drill it down by the category that you're thinking of playing in. So mine would be Men's 4-0 Singles. So right now we have a total of nine players and you know the various people that we're playing. You can um, you know click into their names to kind of see um, if they played in other tournaments before, the results, how they did, get a good gauge of you know how many people are kind of brand new, like this guy, and then how many people are more experienced. Uh, for example, we've played a lot of um, matches like this, uh, particular individual. Um, you'll see like uh, what categories he played last year, how he did. That he apparently got moved up from 3-5 to 4-0. Um, and also tried a few open tournaments. So it gives you kind of a gauge your competitors are um, that have kind of committed to this tournament. The other important reason to check this is the total number of players tells you how many um, players are on draw, estimated. I mean, obviously this number can change. There could be mail-in ballots. There could be people that are entering um, offline. But it gives you a rough approximate. Like, for example, if you have eight players, that would be a minimum of four rounds. So you would have eight players playing in the first round, four players playing in the second, two players playing in the final. Sorry, so that'd be three uh, three rounds minimum. Because this is nine players, there'll be um, at, le at least four rounds. There'll be buys for uh, various players, but you'll have uh, a bracket of up to 16. So um, say this one had uh, 14 players at, at the start of the tournament. So if it's 14 players out of 16, two people would get um, buys, buys, for example. 
and they wouldn't have to play a first round. But the other players, the other 12 or so, would have to play their first matches and then be seated into the draw. So then in the second round, it would be the six people who have played their first match and had two buys, so that would be the eight players, and then they would play a standard um, four-bracket system. So you'd kind of weed your way down. Similar style of, like, you know, Final Four, um, the basketball, you guys are familiar with that. Single elimination um, for most tournaments. And um, you basically play from 16 to 8 to 4 to 2, and then you get the championship. Um, some tournaments, they have a consolation um, draw, which they'll list in the, the front page. Um, this one doesn't, but the consolation draws are nice in case um, you want to pay a play at least two rounds. So what happens is if you lose the opening um, round, for example, you'll be immediately put into a constellation draw. And whoever sticks around for the constellation draw um, in your section will play each other. And um, the winner of that constellation draw can still accumulate a, a few points, but also most more importantly they can play at least a second or third round possibly um, if other people have lost. So it gives you a little more tennis for your money and again it's um, a nice thing to look for, and it's usually listed up here, um, Constellation Tournaments. Um, so that's pretty much it for the tournament information. Um, now I'll just go ahead and show you um, what the registration page will look like. And click Register Now. It okay, has my USTA number listed. If you don't know your USTA number, what you would do is you go to um, the, my tennis page up here link, and then you log in, and then you can find your USTA number. Um, when you put it in, um, you click continue, and it'll show you the eligible um, sections that you can play in. So the uh, eligible events you can play in. So here I can play men's open, open doubles, singles, doubles, mixed doubles, etc., etc. So you can play at your NTRP or above. So that means I can play 4-0 or 4-5 or open. But I can't play 3-5. So, um, Usually at this point, I recommend you play um, one singles tournament first, or because it can be pretty tiring. This one's best out of three sets, full sets. Um, if you can play two doubles um, mat events, that's possible too. Uh, for example, if I want to do men's open or men's doubles and then mixed doubles, that would be a possibility. Um, if you pick these they'll ask you for the USTA number of your partner, so just go ahead and find that, and then you can either pay half, uh, which is the no selection, or if you want to pay for your partner, you just click yes, and then you pay the full $22, and then he or she can reimburse you for his or her half. Um, so, for example, for today, we'll uh, register for the singles men's 4-0 here, and it'll ask you for your cell phone number and your information, which I'll probably need to blank out at this point. Um, and then I'll ask you to uh, share your email address, um, which I recommend so they can contact you, and then give you updates and stuff like that. So we will click continue. Uh, this page shows you the um, ability to enter more information about your ranking and stuff like that. Um, you can specify it here, click continue. Finally, it's the cart summary checkout page. Here, you verify that, yes, you want to register for the men's 4-0 singles, and um, you want to check out. So the checkout page will give you a grand total, $32 that you're paying. You enter your name, your credit card information, and um, you, know, you can register for this event. Basically, um, you save this credit card information so it's easier later on. You just have to click submit for your, um, for your registration if you plan to play more tournaments and then after that you just place your order now. So that's pretty simple. So after you um, register, register for your event it'll send you an email uh, confirming your registration. Your, your registration number will be given and it'll also be updated on the website. So we'll go there. Okay, now we're at the registration confirmation screen. You'll see um, I've checked out and it's registered for the um, men's 4.0 singles um, and I paid $32.
and you also see at the top right here you can print your confirmation. It'll give you the ability to print it out. But usually this will be emailed to you, so you don't have to do that. Um, but you can. You don't have to bring this to the um, tournament or anything. Um, when you show up, you just have to bring um, like an ID, or um, sometimes not just you know um, like a UST number and um, some proof that uh, that you are who you are when you show up for the tournament. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, hopefully you'll have fun at your first tournament and you'll be able to uh, get a good gauge of how you do. Um, in the next uh, video we'll do, we'll check out how to look up players' uh, rankings. So after you're registered um, for this tournament, I'll show you what your screen looks like now. Um, in the applicants pool, you can kind of see um, my name there, uh, Jack Chong, registered. Um, and then you can look up, you know, various players they've played against and um, how they've done, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll go into more details uh, there, and then uh, some tips and tricks for uh, getting ready for the days um, leading up to your first tournament. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, this is Tennis Bargains, and hope you enjoyed the video.